Hello. Ray. Hello. Ray. Pleased to meet you. And your yeah. name is Ray? Ray Barton. Ray Barton. I'm yeah. Lawrence. Lawrence okay, Edwards. thank you. Lawrence. This is Margaret. Margaret. Margaret Barton. Yes. Nice yes. to meet you. Are you daughter? Daughter. Let <laughs> me try that. No. no. <laughs> That's that. a point up for me. I don't, I don't get asked that very much now, just lately. Very us, so. Did you? Yeah, we're in a cafe. Oh, yeah. And we're in a cafe once, and this woman said, Do you look after your dad? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, when we, yeah. so when we came out of cafe, we are going mad. <laughs> so, Ray, yeah. you're a minor. Right. You're a minor? Yeah. yeah. And you've. How long were you mining for? Well, I had 23 years, but I had broken service, you see. Right. But uh, that was at Atfield, Maine. Yeah. I left school on the Friday. Right. And uh, I was started at Bentley Colliery on the Monday. At Bentley? Yeah. yeah. Training down Bentley Colliery. Yeah, because that was a training pit at that time? Training Colliery, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And when are we talking? Well, what, how, I don't mind me asking how old you are. I'm uh, 84. 84. Right. Jesus. Yeah. That's pretty good. 84. So what period of, what is it, in the 40s, 50s? It yeah, 50s. 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 So you leave school on Friday and then you're in Bentley. At Bentley Colliery. Well, they took us down the colliery. We used to work with the ponies. Really? Oh, yeah. Various things you had to do. Yeah. Learning to click coal on, on the yeah. tubs, you know, on the haulage rope. Yeah. Yeah, we enjoyed the training. Yeah. So was the training the best bit of your career? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Really? Well, you, you actually needed it. Yes. When you think about yes. it, when you got to really working at the... Yeah. So the ponies, there were still ponies around there? There were still ponies then. Gosh. Yeah. We used to go in the stables and get them out and drive them, you know. Yeah. And when they... In the stable underground. Underground. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. Really. But how many were there on your in? Or well, in the class? Yeah. Is it what they call a class? I, I would say. Uh, you, you mean ponies or? Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you meant. Oh no, no, not the club. They're not the club. Well, that's it. Well, answer both. Uh, answer both. Maybe about twenty in class. Yeah. Lads we used to break up in various groups. Yeah. With different trainers. Right. I remember the name of our trainer, they called him Mr. McIver. Oh, really? Yeah. A bit like Scottish porridge. Guy. Porridge. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that from a long time ago. Mr. McIver. So that must have made a big impact on me to oh. remember his name. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Mr. McIver. Yeah. Gosh, so how long does the training last at Ben? 16 week. Right, okay. Yeah. And in that time, you've got all the above work sorted out? Uh, ground, above ground work? No, it was underground. Oh, 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 and there were a big. Uh, uh, safety was a big thing. Well, that's good. Can you carry on looking forward? Yeah. Right. And this was when it was still. Was it National Coal Board then? Yes, it was National Coal Board, yeah. yeah. I think. No, Ted Heath wouldn't be Prime Minister then, I don't think. Not in the 50s, I think, was it? I can't remember. So once you got trained up, did you go back to Hatfield or did you stay at Bentley? Well, no, we went to Hatfield then. Right. And uh, he was detailed a job. But he was always with somebody else, your trainer, watching what you were doing and looking after you. Right. Until you could look after yourself, more or less. Yeah. How long would it be since you understood that you could look after yourself? Well, just a matter of a couple of weeks, really. Yeah. But, uh, and did you stay at Hatfield all your career? Yes, yes, that's the only colliery I've worked. Right. So, did you come from a mining family? Yes, my father was a miner. Right. He, uh, he came to Yorkshire from Lancashire, from, from Wigan. Okay. And he came over with the other children. And how and many of them were there? There was, was there six, Margaret? Six. Six, six yeah. You were the youngest. I'm the youngest. So he's, he's the only one born in Yorkshire. I'm the only Yorkshire one among the family. They're all Lancashire people. Gosh. So you had five brothers and sisters? Three brothers and two, two girls. Right. And where no did you? Ray. 
two brothers and three sisters. Two brothers, three sisters. <laughs> I'm, a little bit, I'm a little bit nervous, you know. Don't know what so, where did you live? Did you live in Hatfield? Did you live? So, describe to me the family home when you were a child, because it's a long time ago. It'd be very interesting. So, what sort of house was it? You mean our marriage or more? Your father's no. and mother. Your mother well, and father's home. What are you brought up? Well, we, we lived in Windsor Road, Stainforth. Stainforth, okay. And uh, I've been there. There was a kitchen in uh, the parlour. Yeah. Three bedrooms. Right. And this is a was this a, a coal a board house? Coal board house. Yeah. 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 And uh, the, with a big stove, roaring fire. Really. With a oven. I think it was what they called a the Yorkshire range. All right. What's that mean? It means that it's the name of the range, the or the fire has combined got, with a. Has it got a design feature that makes it Yorkshire? I, I wouldn't think so, but it was nice. It was, I wish I had one today. Yeah. I like looking at old stuff. Yeah. Everything was cooked on. I'm a sort true. of a. I like a, to be like these are pickers in America, you know. I don't know whether you've seen these or not. Pickers? pickers. Yeah, Cotton they, pickers. They go, no, they, they go around old buildings all over the USA picking old stuff up and gear. All right, Anything well, that's old. Yeah. Even signs. Okay. And I'm a bit like that. I like stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, stuff. to look at, yeah. yeah. It's on television every day. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's a marvellous programme. Wow. So... The two good lads. So you, the, this fire was the centre of the... in the kitchen, in the centre of the heart of the house? It, yes, it was, yeah. Fueled by coal? Yeah. Fueled by coal, well, naturally, Of course, yeah. yeah. And where's the coal? we've got our free... free coal. Yeah, free coal. So how much yeah. coal? Every month. Every we've month. We've got how a tour. How does that come to you? How do you get it? By a lorry, they, and it used to be tipped on the floor, a big pile of it, and we had to get that from your gate yeah. to your coal house yourself. Right. And so was it you and all your brothers and sisters doing it? Well, anybody that were available at time, yeah. yeah. And was your dad a nice man? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you like him? Was he oh, oh, yeah. disciplinary? He used to keep budgery guys. Did he? Yeah, and breed them. Really? Yeah. And could he sell them? Uh, I don't know, I don't think he sold many. Not canaries? Not canaries, budgies. Really? Yeah. So how many would you have in a typical year? Uh, I don't know, really. Was I it suppose it depended on what, how they were breeding. And, uh, yeah. I used to see the... I didn't go in there a lot. I, I wasn't uh, really interested in uh, budgies. You were a teenager then. I was busy. Caught in Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> Different type of bird, eh? Yeah, yeah. Gosh. So, your mother, what was she doing at the time that your father was doing buggy? Well, she was just an housewife. Right? Looking yeah. after and six cooking, kids. Cooking, yeah, yeah. Tell them about family, eh? Well, uh, About you and your Joe, and... Well, I, uh, and Me and my son. brother was in a group. You know, a musical group. Were you? What did you play? He, I played drums at that particular yeah. time, yeah. Okay. And he played guitar. What sort of music was it? Well, at the time, it was the skiffle era. Yeah. But we we always used to swing the music you a lot. We look forward. We always used to swing the music a lot. Because I was you at a to, event. You, you used to swing it? Swing, really. Play swing. Play swing. Play and okay. swing. Okay. Rather than just normal skiffle. Yeah. Because I've uh, I've always been a bit of a jazz buff, yeah. Yeah. and I I like jazz. I've got a great jazz collection of records. Yeah. yeah. Who's your favourite jazz? Well, that's a big question because there's a heck of a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Are you like Chet? S are saxophone. You? Uh, you're going to say Chet Baker, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. Are you a Chet man? Yeah. Huh? It, it, good. It is. Uh, Family, you know, in America, they used to keep an apple farm. Yeah. Chet Baker. Yeah. Lovely, sweet player. Well, didn't he um, have dentistry problems? He did. And he had to have all his teeth yeah, replaced. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And he had to learn to play all over again. Uh, yeah. Well, I suppose you'd have to. <laughs> well, I've switched to saxophone now. What, you play saxophone? Yeah. What, now? N yeah. 
It must be yeah. very good for you. Uh, good for no. the lungs. I have got false teeth, but no problem. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mine's an alto sax. Really? And I do a few riffs, you know, I mean, it's still a jazz thing. Yeah. See, can I show my mouth here a few riffs? Come on, then. Ba ba do do be ba ba do 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 ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba. It's all that coming on the Hudson. Up the Hudson. Coming on up the Hudson. In New York. Thelonious Monk. Ah yeah yeah we got him yeah Thelonious. Got old Thelonious. So I've gone right through that era all my life. Gosh. And I still listen to it. Brilliant. Yeah. Do you play in the clubs? Have you played? Do you play publicly? Uh, no, no, no saxophone, no. no. No, I'm still learning. So Margaret has to put up with it at home? Yeah, and my miss, miss sons, they play, grandson, they do clubs now. Do they? Yeah. Did you ever play in a brass band? Yeah. Did no. you? Oh, yeah, the sons, yeah. Do you? Yeah. Not brass band, no. 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 Two sons did. Two yeah. sons did, and uh, the, one, the eldest one, he plays guitar and he's got a, he's a decent guitar player. He sat in with uh, Paul Carrick. Who's Paul Carrick? Paul Carrick's band from Sheffield. All oh, right. Yeah. That's good. Well, he's, with his uh, guitar player. Mm hmm. Right. Hey, what about your freedom and then what they did? Oh, well, me, me uh, sister, she used to travel with the circus. What? She was also a dancer. <laughs> she was what with the circus? She travelled with the circus. She ran away from home? She, no, no. She got permission Them from your days, dad? Them days, you know, there wasn't much work, you know. And, uh, <laughs> well, how was your dad? Well, it was a musical, uh, <coughs> musical family, really. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? So your dad, was your dad a musician? No. Mum? He did a bit of tap dancing. <coughs> did he? A little bit, yeah. What, in public? Yeah, uh, when he had a drink or two, he used to go at George and, uh, you know. Really? A bit, yeah. Really? Yeah. On the tabletops? No, no, on stage. Really? Yeah. Blimey, right. I've never had a tap dancer here. Mm. God. Wow, well, so you do, so, you, well, who is this that went to the circus? His sister. What was her sister, name? Sister, Frida. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, we've got a photograph of her in a Scotch outfit. Really? Yeah, the band down there. And it, Short Scotch kilt, yeah, and the is it a pom pom hat that they yeah. wear? Yeah, yeah. Right, she worked with a Scot uh, strongman. She worked with a strongman <laughs> as well. Yeah, yeah. Really? Did you ever go and see her? No, I was too young then. How old, how old was she? Oh, she's. Oh, she'd be Margaret. She'd be about eighty nine now. Gosh, she's, she's passed six away. You know. Years yeah. Old, yeah. Then what about your son? Uh, yeah, my elder brother was about. Uh, he was an artist as well. Was he? Yeah. What painter? Painting. Yeah, he. Uh, You're well he, known in Doncaster. Yeah, he painted a lot to a local GP. Really? Yeah. Doctor Admison. Yeah. Mm. He once so. did a, a painting for a, some sort of boss from coal mines. And he got £500 for it, and that were in the 50s. Jeez. Oh, he, he, uh, Royal Academy, they have opening. Yeah, yeah, you know, summer show. And he, he hung one in there. Did he? <coughs> and it was bought by, no, it was a brewing magnate's daughter. Yeah. She bought that from really? Royal Academy, yeah. Good God. So you had a varied, I mean, for a family that, for example, we had a father who was a miner. Yeah. Was your grandfather a miner? I couldn't tell you. So you don't know much I'm, about... I mean, he may, he may have been in the war, great-grandfather. You know what I mean? You may have been a miner in the war. A soldier. A soldier. Could have been a soldier. Okay. Yeah. So, in the First World War? Yeah. So your dad then, you know definitely your dad was a miner. Oh, on your yeah. mother's side, where did that family come from? From Wigan. From Same, Wigan? Yeah. So everyone was from Wigan? Yeah, that's where they met. And you all moved across to... Yorkshire. Stainforth? For, for the mining. For the mining. Yeah. So the Lancashire mines weren't right? Or well, what? Yeah, well, the, the deteriorated and run out of coal. So, out of coal. so, you know. so they travelled to Yorkshire. And from, was it the same type of... For the money. Of, yeah. Was it the same type of mining? Was it deep mining yeah, yeah, in yeah, Lancashire? Yeah, yeah. And 
So six or seven of you came over, and uh, your mother's looking after the house, your dad's tap dancing, looking after his budgery guards, <laughs> and, uh, and then yes. his spare time is going mining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's not disciplining you and pulling you by the ear out of various <laughs> things, you know, you're, you're all right. Is, is he a fight? Are there any fighters in the family? We have fighting yeah. since no, no. He wanted you to box, didn't he? Oh, he wanted me to box, yeah. yeah. Because? Well, uh, the local snooker club, when I was a teenager, uh, we used to go there yeah. with, the, with your mates, yeah. playing snooker and billiards. Yeah. And the guy that run it, he was a counsellor. Right. And we used to do a bit of bantering, you know, sparring and that. Right. Because he was a counsellor. And he always said to me, uh, why don't you take it up serious, you know? Well, so you were quite good. You obviously, uh, well, obviously, obviously landed a punch or two on the counsellor. He, he, he maybe <laughs> saw something I don't know. But I, I was not interested in things like that, no? you know. I'm more into music. Yeah. At the same place that, the, that we used to have uh, pop and uh, crisps in they used to arrive in tin boxes them days. Okay. And if you turn that over oh. and you tap that, yeah. Just like a drum, it was terrific. To really? Play. And I used to play that in there. So this even is even at that age. How old was that? I always wanted to be a drummer. Really? About fourteen or fifteen. So you're basically playing in biscuit tins. Yeah, on top of biscuit tin. Yeah. And in Because in America, you know, they used to play a lot of suitcases. Yes, yes. On the school bus. So we on the school bus. We school used desk to get into trouble. <laughs> yeah, I was always at it. I loved it, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So your father was obviously a very broad minded, broad minded family. They weren't sticklers for mining. They didn't say you're going down pit, otherwise you're dead. No. I, no they were quite no, open minded. No, no. Your sister well, goes it, to the it circus. Well, if your father worked there them days, yeah. you know, it didn't bother me. No. Going to pit. So you didn't mind. Well, I'm still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you your know. sister goes to the circus. Yeah. She travels the Britain or the world. Britain, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. About and then, how about your other brothers and sisters? What do they end up doing? Uh, one went to what they call service market, didn't he? Service, working maybe for families, like a sort of maid or oh, okay. things like that. Is that a sister or a maid? Or a a sister, yeah. Okay. A lot, a, lot, in, a lot of women did that then days. And is that local or is that in London or? I think they travelled away, yeah, they travelled away, yeah. Really? Yeah. Were you close to your siblings? Oh, yeah, they were nice, yeah, yeah. lovely. So, I mean, you kept in touch. Christmas time were nice when you come downstairs. Yeah. Presents well, got presents. Yeah. It wasn't a lot, but you appreciated them days because you know no different. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No computers them days. Orange yeah. and an apple. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you yeah, know, maybe a train set. Right. Everybody else congregates at his mother's every day. Oh, really? Every day. So your mother was a popular centre of... Yes. Um, family, yeah. yeah. They all used to come and all see All the family, see children as Really? Yeah. So it's very Some, close somebody family. every day. Even husbands, wives. So it's a close family? Yes. A loving family? Yeah, yes. I would say so, yeah. yeah. How lovely. Mm. And a musical family? Yeah. Gosh. And so it's passed on to grandchildren. Yeah. Right? They, the music. That must be so satisfying. Oh, yeah. It is, it's nice. So you go to the school? Because they, they work on clubs now, you know. Told me, uh, my son and grandson. Did you go and see them? Oh, yeah. That's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. We got together, you know. Uh, what was the last football tournament, was it? World Cup? A bit World Cup, yeah. yeah. And it was on big screen in one of the clubs. And three of us played together. Really? Me, my son and grandson. God, how fantastic. Yeah. For the, while, the, while the football were on, yeah. we were doing the old little bit, tiddly bits in between. <laughs> really? You know, gene the crowd up. Good God. Where was this? Stainford? Stainford, yeah. At Central Club. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. I was there when they recorded the Christmas song last year with that um, Johnny, he's a rock and roller guy, wasn't he? He did a Christmas charity song. Do you know I went to see the recording. It was it Johnny Tempest or something like that. It's not, he's got a rock name. Not Johnny Rock. No, 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 not Johnny Rock. <laughs> no, I wonder why you weren't there. I thought you'd have been in that. Oh, God. I, I like that club. It was lovely. Yeah. 
Lovely community there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And the Hatfield pit head is still there. I went around around that. It hill. is. Yeah. 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 His uncle, my dad were bandsmen, weren't they? Oh right. And your uncle were a winder, weren't they? Yeah, you were a winder, my uncle. Winding, yeah. Winding them down. Really? On the number one shaft. <coughs> That's the intake shaft yeah. where the air goes down. Number two comes up. Yeah. Yeah. My dad were a banksman and he used to push the empty tubs on all and then the full ones used to come up and they were on the they were at work one day and one man who we worked with went over. He, what, thought, over the, he thought the tub were there and he went straight down. Went down. What from that high yeah, yes. half mile? Yeah, got killed. That shaft it, number one where I worked was half mile. You look over, you know. And you can see the light at the bottom is like a pinprick. Good God. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh. He's life, isn't he? It were awful. My dad were in bed for about a week. What a shock. That shocked. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, how does that manifest itself? What is it? What is just like? He must have been just careless. He just thought it up with and went forward and went down. But when you're in bed with shock, what is it? What is it? What are you? What are you, what are you doing? Are you shivering? Are you just? Yeah, yeah. I was in the cage one day, and it overwhelmed what they call. Mm -hmm. And it dropped. And the, the what? The, the cage comes up, and then a set of caps come out, and then your cage it lands on that. Then the men can get off. Mm -hmm. This particular day, we came up. The caps it, it went down. Too fast, and the caps wasn't there, and we thought we'd had it. Cage were dropping. Men, wow, they all screamed at once. Really? Oh, I thought we'd gone. God. And what happened? And so, when we got up again, we all had to go home. We were going down. Mm. And I, I was bad with shock. My tongue was like that in my mouth. Couldn't stop. I laid on settee. Yeah. Thought really? we'd gone. And Worst of all, there was a young lad on there with his first shift oh. on afternoons. He never went back. Really? If you thought, if this is going down in a cage, can you imagine it? Yeah. Free fall? Free fall. And how did it and stop? It just, well, it's like elastic. The weight on a steel rope, it was like elastic. So you sprung You go them. like that, yeah, yeah, on a steel rope. Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Side profile now, so look ahead. Otherwise, forever and ever today, it won't look good. You've got a very good profile. You've got a good head, sir, as they say. Mm. Yes. Didn't know that, did you? You all know all the bones, aren't you? Oh, yes. Well, not by name. Don't test me. You're going to tell me you're a surgeon now. <laughs> Facial reconstruction. So what were you down, what was your main job? What did you end up doing? Uh, we ended up, what they call ripping. You were ripping? That is, uh, taking the road out, roadway, mm -hmm. and ripping all the rock down with a jigger pick onto the floor, then filling it into tubs. Kept you fit that, you know. Mm. But you're fit, you're a fit bloke then. I worked with his brother all the time, didn't you? Did you? Yeah, me and my brother, the guitar player, worked together. Worked together. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's unusual, was it? Yeah. And did you enjoy it? Oh, yeah. We hard work. So this is before a mechanisation? This is before... Oh, yeah, yeah, before mechanisation, really. Yeah. But uh, you, had the, you had to do to live. Yeah. You had to work hard. And were you a mar you weren't a market man then? You weren't waiting for your job every day. You had a job and you were. Well, sometimes you was. If they were short of somebody, you went to another job. Yeah. You know. But uh, yeah, varied thing, you know. Yeah. Then you went on cold face, drawing off and packing. What's drawing off? Well, when they've got the coal out. You put a pack up with stone and fill the centre with milk with shovel. Yet you couldn't put coal in because it'd combust. Mm -hmm. So you, you packed it up to the ceiling, 
then he had to go under the sail on the seam, it was only that high, and he had to run in there with a chain, hook it round that prop, then you have to leave it out. Hmm. And while you're in there, rocks were falling. Oh, God. Could have, could have got killed dead easy. Really? So you had to run from here, just a bit further than that corner. Yeah. So me and my brother, with it, we were lucky being brothers, really, because we were it in turns doing that. Hmm. You know, running in, running, then it'd be his turn next time. And then for a silly prop, made of steel, just like that, you're risking your life. It's ridiculous. Sometimes deputy would come along and say, have you got that prop out yet? And this kind of stuff. So are you saying that this is before the ceiling was safe? You had yeah, to run in and out? The, yeah, put the props before in. it really, yeah. no, you had to pull them out. To move because, on. And then uh, to, the face you were moving forward every day. Yeah. So the gobs that, behind. That, the gobs behind that were falling in. And so you were pulling out. You had out. to go in that gob to get them you props out. You had to go out. the gob and get them out. And to you, put a chain around to pull it out. And so you were, Jesus Christ. That's what it is. That's what you had to do. Yeah. yeah. Were you doing that all the time? Yeah, mostly. A lot of we, years were on that. Yeah. You look forward. So, I mean, you're dicing with death every time you go in. Yeah. And did you have any close encounters? I mean, did it come yeah, down? Yeah, they send you in various places. They're on the holes like that, you know, yeah. to retrieve stuff. And did you know, I mean, did you have near misses where it came down? Yeah, you know? you've been scraped with stuff, you know. My father come home from work one day, a big gash on his back, you know. Really? I mean, did you get an instinct for a safe ceiling and a... Um, you do all you do, yeah. You can hear, th you can hear stuff. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you can hear what? Well, you, you're all, well, you, you can go with creaks and, just, you know, it's, it's sort of, it's an instinct. Yeah. That you get. You might get a little bit of stuff just falling down, and you wait and wait, you know, till you feel as though it's okay. Good God. But one's never sure, are they? About no. things. How long did your brother work down there for him? It's about the same time as me, yeah. So you had the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So were you close to him before you went down, or was it something you was he your favourite brother in the end? Well, yeah, because we worked music together. Oh, did you? Yeah. He was a guitarist? Yeah, <coughs> and the artists, other ones, Stanley, were older than us, you know. Good and he were married. He were next one, Jill, weren't you? He were next and one, were. yeah. He used to sing with them and everything. Yeah. Didn't he? he used to sing to me in bed. Really? Yeah. <laughs> These old songs. Feather bed and all, them days. It was really? beautiful. <laughs> yeah, old fashioned feather bed. How many beds were there in the room? One. And we were double bed. Big double bed. How many of you Big in it? Big double bed. How many of you in it? Me and Joe. Me and brother. So you how many rooms? So the other four siblings. Well, uh, Where were they? I don't know the setup then. Uh, there was another room that had a single bed in it. I think his oldest sister were about 14 years old. Oh, so she was. So probably when he grew up, she were getting married. Right. Yeah, that's right, yeah. 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 So, Margaret, were you uh, locally, were you local to these? Yeah. Were you in the same village? I lived in Dunscroft. Dunscroft? So how did you meet? Are you asking me? Yeah, go oh, on. Margaret, I might right. as well see if she see if no, the stories no, tally. Um, well, I, I saw a, a picture of her, and she was doing a pantomime at school. Really? And I saw. In paper. She's nice. Her. Hang on. You were, you were at school. Yeah, and I saw a picture of me in the paper. Yeah. And, and he cut it out. I met her at and dance. He carried it about with him till he no. saw me. Yeah. Well, you're joking. And yeah. then I met him in. Stainperth Catholic Hall dance hall. I went with my sister and my sister knew him. So we were talking to her and then he must have seen me and asked me to dance and that were it. Did he show you the photograph in his pocket? Uh, I don't know. I <laughs> can't remember. Okay. But he had it. Really? Picked me out a line of chorus girls. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> that is incredible. 
And then that were it. We got we were together three years and then got married. Good God. Got engaged and married. And we had five kids. Five kids? I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And where are they all now? Round about. Are they arty types, uh, musicians? Uh, uh, your one's a musician because you played uh, with them. Uh, yeah, this one's 60. Really? Yeah. Um, you don't look old. I mean, I'm not, you don't look anywhere near the age that you have a 60. I'm 80 something. You're not. Yeah, Jeez. In fact. <laughs> yeah. I'm 80 in March and he's 84 <coughs> in May. Good God. Down there for dancing, up there for thinking. <laughs> so the youngest Keep one on the is uh, 49, so. <coughs> All right. <coughs> And then we've got a daughter, 52, a son, 56, um, a daughter, she died, oh. but she would have been 58. Oh, God. So we had five. We've just got four now. Yeah. <coughs> and they're all married and living about. And yeah. We see, we see them all the time, yeah. every day. You know. God. Oh, sounds rather pleasant. Looks like cheese then. Yeah, no, it's got a bit hot. It's getting a bit buttery. The eldest one and his wife used to work here. Teacher. Really? Yeah. He used to teach here. In the, not in the art department? In, yeah, in, no, in college. In the college. She used to teach travel. Really? Teach yeah. how to travel. Yeah. yeah, travel. So none of them went into the mine? Oh, they can't, can they? My uh, eldest son went down there. The did one that played the tower didn't stop long. No, it, no, it wasn't for him. Like Which is Andrew fair enough. Did as well, Ray. Yeah, Andrew went as well. He didn't stop but long. But he didn't stop long. And the youngest well, one. Well, the more there. choice these days. Yes. The youngest one never went down. So that were a good thing, really. Yeah. Yeah. So did you have another career after? Did, did you I go and do work? another job after the mines? Uh, I worked, where did I work when I got? Oh, I worked at Drax Power Station for oh. a little while, yeah. yeah. That's where all the coal Just, went, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, that's yeah. right, yeah. I think he were out at Pitt nine years, and okay. then he went back. Oh, really? And then he got made redundant. <clears throat> I finished in the miners' strike. Did you? Yeah, 86. So I finished then. Did you finish before? Did you strike? Uh, you? Oh yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh, when I, in retrospect, <coughs> Thatcher did me a favour. Right. You know, the Prime Minister. Yeah. Because they paid us up. And uh, I used that money. Still? I've, no, I, look, I looked after it. Yeah. So I don't suppose you were doing me a favour, because you know, well, I, I'm a Labour man. Yeah. And I don't mind poli talking about politics. Yeah, right, okay. You know. You can talk about politics. So, uh, for me, they've always been a greedy party, Tories. Money, money, money. Mm -hmm. All the time. And time's passing all the time. So, you only need so much money. Yeah. But they're a very greedy party. I'm sorry if there's any. Conservatives. Conservatives in here. <laughs> I don't think you find many around here. But uh, I mean, Might from be from <coughs> they've always been sound. greedy. Get off my land and all this, mm. and they've got acres and acres and acres of moors. And I thought, well, you've not saved up to buy that land. <laughs> so they've either pinched it, or they've had it passed down oh, from yeah, some relative relative that's pinched it. Yeah. Some time it passed. Then they go moving the people off because they're farming sheep. Because the landowner wants to do something else. He makes them, move them all off the land in Scotland and make them go fishing. Mm. At his whim. Yeah. Uprooting all the families. Yeah. And it's, it's never altered since then. No. <clears throat> they're still greed to this day. London's full of money and they keep saying we've got no money. Mm. People lay not streets. We bring crisps to town and give them, we give them food in Donny. People. Because no matter what's up with anybody, I'm not a doctor, but I think. The people, somebody's sons and my dog. 
Well, the homeless. They, they must have a condition. And they want looking after. That's what I think. Yeah. Or had incredible disasters in life. Yeah. That you can't help yourself. Yeah, that's right. It's a shame. Yeah. I've got a new tool here. I can do eyes again, thank God. I'll have to have a go at that. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you some wax to take home. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's good. You take some home. That's beautiful. That's great. Well, you can see how it's used. You have to get it hot. Right. Under the armpit. Oh, yeah. It yeah. needs to keep it warm. Yeah. And then it comes mad. Uh, what if it gets so far and it's a disaster? Well, can you pull it yeah, to pieces? Again, yeah. How long will it last? Forever. For indefinite. Yeah, oh, it won't go anywhere. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can have some. Oh, and uh, if I make it, I'll, I'll bring one back to show you if yeah, I get yeah. one. Well, at least send me a photograph. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see you again. I've got to, you're going to get a plaster of this head. I'll give you a plaster. We make a mould of this and we cast it into bronze. Right. And the bronze goes in the, in the sculpture. But there'll be a mould so we can make plasters and they'll make, give a plaster to all the sitters. So you'll get a plaster portrait of yourself. Right. If you want it. Oh, yeah. I love it. You haven't seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you never know with that, do you? Funny thing. Oh, good, yeah. I love painting, though. Oh. I love it. Oh. I see, you know, some colours that go together yeah. on you. I'm bits. very upset you didn't bring any of your paintings with you. You've been on the camera. Well, I wish I'd have known. I would have done. Yeah. I'd love to have seen them. And the last guy brought a load of paintings in and poems. Oh. Poems he'd written. Ah. It's brilliant. I mean, the wonderful thing about this project is the people you meet and you read the creativity in there. Yeah. yeah. The variety of... There's lots of talent in there. Yeah. There it is. Mad. I feel a bit embarrassed, to be honest. Been doing, trying to make a living out of it and all these people... I don't know. You've got a good game there. It's lovely. It must be nice doing that. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Yeah, it must be. Yeah. I don't... When you've got looking at that end product, it's lovely, isn't it? But you always feel sort of a loner when you're an artist, don't you? Well, it's lovely. <laughs> I don't <laughs> mind that. Loneliness in a studio is a wonderful thing. I love being by myself in the studio. But sometimes it's hard to communicate with some people, isn't it? Yes. They don't see what you see, do they? That's true, yeah. That's very true. I mean, you can say, do you like that with a picture? And they'll, they'll say, oh, yeah, that's nice. But they don't see what you've you no. seen. No, that's true. Tell you like music. Tell you got a musical. You got a musical face. How do you wear that out? It's just there's a kind of a happy, right? there's a happiness in it. There's uh -huh. a contentedness mm. in it. Yeah. And there's a it's almost as if you can close. Yeah, it's almost like you're doing that. You can yeah. just sense there's a yeah. kind of a your face is often yeah. in the zone. Put it that way. Yeah. In the zone. Yeah. Have you known much pain? Pain. Yeah. Oh, I've had cancer. Have colon, you? Yeah. Really? Whereabouts? Yeah. Colon. 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 Did you suffer from the dust? Yeah, I've got COPD. Yeah? Yeah. Breathing. Yeah? You know. How long have you had that? Whew. I've had it now, mate. Quite a few years. Yeah, 30 years, easy. And then you can manage to live with it? I mean, yeah. Take me tablets regular. And this yeah, no, offers and that. Yeah. Does it hinder your life? Does it, well, it must be good playing saxophone with that. Uh, it clears it a bit, yeah, really, yeah. Because yeah. you're using the lungs, you see. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. 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 good. I'll take advantage when you're quiet. I don't know how you can work. Why are you talking? I can't really. It's all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> As I say, you've got a good sense of humor. It's, it's just all wrong. It's not how I've been trained. My teachers would be very upset. 
So for God's sake. Sir. Where were you trained then? Well, I went on my, my I didn't my education didn't last long at school. Yeah. And I left that quite early. Yeah. And I ended up in a, my lower stoft. Yeah. Um, doing my problem, you know, finishing off my education. And then I went to Canterbury to do sculpture. Yeah. At the age of about 18. Yeah. And there I discovered the bronze casting foundry. Yeah. And I fell in love with the bronze casting process. Yeah. And so then I went to the Royal College to con finish my work in a kind of a foundry course there, yeah. casting and learning about bronze casting. Mm. Which is, dates right back to, well obviously it's to the Bronze Age, but also yeah. specific bronzes I was doing was coming out of uh, the Italian Renaissance method. So I fell in love with the Italian Renaissance and all the sculptors and artists at that time. Mm. And I still to this day use the same methods that people like Michelangelo and Donatello all used to make the sculpture. So these methods that I cast with these, it's a very Italian method of casting. Yeah. And, uh, and then I started to build my own foundries. After being to India, I got scholarships and travelled India. Right. And I learned how to, well, I saw how you could cast without it costing me half a million pounds yeah. to build. Right. Out of dustbins and yeah. hoovers, yeah. furnaces I built out of dustbins. Yeah, and, yeah. and slowly built foundries that worked after many, many years of failure. Right. And eventually I could cast other people's work. So I started to sculpt, cast other sculptors and I could make a living out of casting other people's work. Oh. And that protected my sculpture. So I didn't have to sell my sculpture. So yeah. I could to, I could, yeah, to live. Yeah, so I could then develop my own language, as it were, develop my own style, without yeah. someone going, I don't want that, I don't want that, I could just do it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, after a while, people start to buy into what I did in my style. Yeah. And so I could slowly let off the casting of other people's sculptures and do more of my own. Yeah. And now I'm very lucky to employ about eight people and they're all casting my work in my own foundry. Yeah. Big foundry I have now. This you're doing to me will be original yes. to you. Yes, exactly. This is where I'm Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So you become a part of my world. Yeah, repertoire, right? Yeah. Repertoire, yeah. Yeah, I've got a cousin that studied uh, at Slade. Really? He's an artist, yeah. He's got his own shop at... Where's it? Where's it live, Margaret? Oh, Bra Andrew. Um, uh, oh, nephew, isn't he? Saltburn. Saltburn. Where's that? Up in uh, North Yorkshire. North Yorkshire. It's near Radco. Oh. Near Whitney. On the coast. Not far from Whitney. Nice. What does he do up there? He's got his own shop. Oh, okay. He's what, got a gallery his, type thing. Yeah, he's got a gallery. Yeah. He were a lecturer. He does some nice stuff. Uh, painting. Really. Andrew Hawkins, they call him. He's on. Uh, he's got a website. He's on the internet. Hmm. So that's sort of in the family, you know. It seems to be. I mean, you seem to be a very creative lot. It's yeah. in family, yeah. Yeah, that's brilliant. Do you exhibit your paintings? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've done it. Uh, did you know staying for the tour? Well, did no. you know the Harvester Club? All right, yeah. I had a little exhibition in there. Did you? I sold a few there. Yeah. You've had one in the museum, right, too? Well, you know, I've told him about that one. In the open art exhibition. Open art, yeah. yeah. yeah they usually send him a letter asking if they want to submit, submit any. Yeah. And there's the pit artists up north, isn't there? Oh, yeah. So have you lived in the same house for years and years and years? No, we've moved, we've no, moved we about moved seven times. times. We used to live at uh, Nafferton, near Bridlington. We tried it there, didn't we? Yeah. But the youngest son, our Philip, they were giving us earache, wanted us to come back home. Yeah. You know, they missed really? us. Yeah. So this is recently then? They missed us. Oh, no. How long is it, mate, since we left there? Long time, indeed. Was this after you left the mines? Oh yeah, yeah. 
Did you? Yeah, and then I, said, I never stopped working. Opposite me, there lived a solicitor, and they wanted a gardener. Oh. So uh, I like to keep busy, you know, and yeah. keep fit. So I did his gardening for him. Yeah. And uh, chop all his logs. Well, he was a very lovely fella. He used to pay you well. Did he? Well, it'll be to have seen her that it looks good. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Thank you. We had a caravan in Spain, didn't we? Did you? Yeah. yeah. So we, were, we went off to Spain. We were there a lot for six years. That was a nice episode. Years. Good God. Whereabouts in Spain? Altier. Outside, just outside Altier. Wow. How did you get the caravan? Uh, how did we get? How did we get it? We oh, looked in Dalton's Weekly. Dalton's Weekly. And we yeah. saw these caravans. They were in there. And we rang them up and we sent us all brochures. And we went through and had a look and we got one. And Mr. Wilson from. He lived in Kent. Canby Island. Is it, is it Canby Island? No. No, not Canby Island. No. Somewhere in Kent. Nice chap. Thetford or somewhere. Thetford? That's quite near me. That's sort of Suffolk way. No, it, it wasn't that my Kent. No, um, I just we, we're sketchy that. with it. Yeah, but it wouldn't be something you want to remember, is it? They're still advertising now, I think, in Dalton's Week, for this song. But uh, they're at Almeria now. Did you have a fixed site or did you drive it over every time? Fixed site? Nice. They were nice. We were 100 yards from the beach. Good yeah, unspoiled and all, really. Mm. Yeah. They were they were nice. Cool and everything on Campbell, and, um, nice old house on beach. It was beautiful tile work on it. Train, it. How often did you have holidays? Pardon? How often did you go there? Regular. We were, no sooner we were home from flying, we were back again. Yeah. <laughs> we were to go back again, yeah. Mm. Yeah, we well, were allowed to do that because we got Navy done, Yeah. So, so we were free. It, if not. So this is where Thatcher did me well then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't know how we were doing that. You know, oh, I enjoy myself with everyone. You know, because who would have been working? Yeah. So where were you and what were you doing in the strike? Were you the proper? Were you at the front there on the on the picket lines and? Were you oh active, yeah, active yeah, work? yeah. I was sat on something high up and I could see some of the lads. Sacked on something. No, I was sat sacked on a, a building high. Yeah. A police on horseback. Right. This is at Hatfield. This is Hatfield, top of Pit Lane. Yeah. And a lot of the lads got sat down on the floor. Mm. And I thought, I don't like the look of that. Yeah. Because they charged them. Oh, got one horse back. They, yeah, and they could have, no, not they, horse, horses were at the other end. Right. But the police charged with bands and lot. You know, and they chased us all over the village. Really? My mother, she was poor and her bed were downstairs where we lived in Windsor Road. She was going on for 80, wasn't she? 86. 86. She was poor. Cop comes running through the house with a baton. What? Shouting, Please. where is he, where is he? Meaning me. Really? Smashed the window with his truncheon. No. Yeah. She died not long after, didn't she? She was shot. She died after. Yeah. Shirt. He got her letter. I got a letter, a very cold letter from police. Please, Didn't know who had done it. Because they never had no, no recognition on the uniforms. God. They just run through. Run through, Run through? Yeah, and went out to the other end, you know. Gee. So a good job I wasn't in the house, really. Yeah. Yeah. Or then I wish I was, really. I might have been able to help her, you know. <laughs> So that were a terrible day, frightening, really. So this was down Hat what, uh, in the village, Stainford. Stainford Village, yeah. High Street. I mean, I've heard Mick the go galloping all over the place. Going all in, in and out of houses and streets. Going all just over. Search, just searching people Search, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody were locking the doors, weren't they? I mean, I heard about the lamp posts being pulled up or something. Oh or yeah, anything, you know. So I mean, in at Stainford, there was proper active street violence. Yeah. There was. Oh. And that wasn't really common. Anyway, they never got me. Good. Why would they want you? I don't know. Maybe because I'm maybe too vocal. So we about strike. Because they work underhand, don't they? You know, yeah. listening, spies, and 
you yeah. know. Mm. But I'm all for an easy Jesus life. God. Hmm? God is God. God. Sometimes they come very hard, these. Sometimes I can relax. I feel I've nearly got you on this one. I can just yeah, get you right now. Yeah. It's, the music, it's the musician in you. How's everybody, you guys? Okay? <laughs> Lovely. Keep happy. That's what Ben Webster used to say, you know, ten, tenor saxophone player, yeah. American. He went, went to live in, settle down in Denmark. And when he used to do gigs, he used to talk to young people. He wasn't very renowned for talking, but this particular night, he, he said to children in the audience, all look after yourself, look after your families, and keep happy. He died the next day. Mm -hmm. It, his mates knocked on the door for a gig and he died in his sleep. Good God. Mind you, he liked to drink, you know. You're on a disaster course, like. Yeah, yeah. Well, most of the jazz. What do musicians do, you know? Yeah. Are you a drinker? I used to do. I've had a few drinks, like in my time. <laughs> so, are you, on a, are you a, a raconteur on stage? Are you a guy that will sit down and tell a story to the audience? No. You go, no. this is this is Chet Baker, he was a No, I fan. don't talk a lot really. Because you talk as I though you still know... feel of, I still feel a bit embarrassed in here. You know. Yeah, it is a bit embarrassing looking that direction. Just keep an eye on me. It'll be alright. They're a rum old bunch, this lot. Especially in, in his Christmas jumper. I'm not having that. A bit scary, all that. Nothing wrong with the Christmas jumper. <laughs> I love the Christmas jumper. That's what he says. <laughs> I'll find it quite offensive. <laughs> I can't remember what the poster was, but your house is now. Oh, what the... Uh, it's a wonderful life. Yeah, it's a wonderful life. In my house at home, we have an advent window in our village. We have to have a competition. You put your, <laughs> decorate oh, your yeah. windows. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we have a cinema in our window, put a projector up. So all Christmas yeah. we're playing films. Yeah. So we're playing... It's a wonderful life. So if you drive past the house, you'll see James Stewart. Oh, yeah. Now, fantastic oh, scene. Yeah, There's a brilliant Stewart. scene where they're dancing in the, in the hall. Yeah. Yeah. And they press a button and the, the floor opens up and a swimming pool appears. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they all back off and fall into the swimming pool. Yeah. I love it. That's good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Is your eyes a bit like mine? I think they are. I'm what? a bit slitty, your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like mine, are <laughs> <laughs> A bit <laughs> slitty. They are, aren't they? Yeah, you know, they're not round and open. No, no, maybe not. I'm frowning. Maybe looking at your yeah, face. Going like this way to look at I do wear glasses usually. Yeah. We're terrible. Um, I can't work with glasses on. Yeah, I wear glasses. So they kind of um, the focus is all wrong. And I, I, you know, holding your hand at this rate, I can't go like that. No, I no, you can't. That. It's all rude, so I have to. Yeah. yeah. It's all very strange. I read a lot, do you? Yeah, I, I do. I, try, I, well, I love it. I consider my hobby to be reading. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not a fast reader. We read every night. Yeah. Every night. What sort of books do you read? Uh, well, have you heard of Damon Runyon? No. American. Well, he wrote Guys and Dolls. Oh, all right. And uh, you wouldn't get his books now. No. I've got omnibus of his. I give two to children, Anna. Yeah. Oh, the funny talk about funny. Really? You're laughing loud. Really? You laugh aloud. You can be laid in bed and you're laughing, you know. <laughs> Honestly. So, uh, yeah, I like comedies and stuff. Yeah. No, I try to read a lot. Because I think it's important for an artist, as it were, to be yeah. reading. Getting yeah, ideas and stuff. Read. Big readers, aren't they? That's another angle that maybe comes into Tory party. Mm -hmm. Closing libraries. Oh. Who'd do that? Jesus, yeah. why would you do that? That's connotations of Italy. Yes. Burning books. Yeah. 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 See what I mean? Yeah. And some of Tory parties have been photographed in Nazi uniform. Really? Yeah. It's a message for somebody. Yeah. It is, isn't it? 
So, if I'm voting again, I've always voted Labour, but I shall be, because they're the most, they're a lot less evil than the other party. Mm. Yeah. Well, they should be more socialist at the moment, shouldn't they, with Jeremy? Should yeah, more, should be. well, you can I was. I would think so, but uh, I don't know where things are going yet. It's difficult. Because I think Tony Blair went a bit other way. He did a bit, didn't he? The middle ground, they say. Yeah. Mm. Who wants to be in the middle? Yeah, I don't. And now they're all fighting for the extreme grounds, aren't they? Yeah. They're going far left, far right. Yeah. I wish somebody would tell me what Brexit is. Yeah. It's the biggest mystery to me I've ever had. <laughs> Honestly. And everybody else. I hope they solve it so I'll know. Yeah. What's what? It's getting close to a big vote, isn't it now? Yeah, mate, don't come as good as you don't know. <laughs> But you've never done this before? No. What an experience. It's great. You say you've done a self-portrait, though. It's good. Yeah, I did that from a photograph. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I did blown up. Never paint Margaret? She, she, she didn't want to be painted at all. Really? It's a shame. But there's some, some and all you find harder to do than others. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> It's not easy. You, and you can't put your finger on it. Yeah. I know. I've tried starting to paint her and it, it didn't work out right. Yeah. I don't know why. Sometimes you can know a face too well. The what? You can know a face too well. Mm. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Too familiar. I bet it's that, you know, Margaret. Too wrapped up in it. Funny. Oh, I've got, I, know I should, you know, I do this for I you. I didn't know that angle. I should, for you guys, you know, I do this. These strangers come in, we have this incredible experience together. And then I go home, and I think it, it takes me two hours. Why don't I do my kids? Why don't I do my wife? Yeah. You know, take one afternoon, yeah. save all their faces, and do I do it? No. I have to do it here. Yeah. A big difference. I keep thinking I'll have to do one of there. Yeah. Have I got one eye bigger than other? They always say that. Not really. <coughs> no, I thought I know what that. They mean. I know what they mean. But... Yeah. <coughs> what are we doing for time, guys? So I've got another hour. Good. Bloody brilliant. And how many do these a day do you do? Three a day. Oh, that's tiring. It's tiring, yeah. <laughs> it's tiring. For a start, you're talking for six hours, aren't you? Well, that's the talking that's difficult. If you, yeah. just, let me, if you just left me alone, yeah. <laughs> I'd be all right. You can leave me alone if yeah. you like. <laughs> it's like, good God. Isn't that good, Margaret? Now, it's white spirit that was now tasting white spirit. <laughs> uh -huh. Is that just a voice in it all time? No, it's um 
I can't, basically, I can't pick little bits off because I've got no hand. Oh, right. Little bits like that. Yeah, right, yeah. So you can and, just... And bizarrely, I de- kind of shape them in there as well. So like a pellet, so like, for example, that is that. Yeah. And then that comes out. Yeah. And I know how big I want the bits to be. Yeah. So sometimes that's too big, so I go... And you can do it and together. Then, then, then there's, yeah. there's two together, and then I go, that's two, two yeah, I can see There's three together. And then I join them all up inside. Yeah. <laughs> She's recoiling. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so there's quite a lot going on in there. Yeah. But I didn't, until I did this, I didn't know yeah. I was doing it. It's all subconscious. I bet that's, your, that's a trade to yours, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, no, do you know fine. anybody else that does it? No. I don't know anyone does this. <laughs> So, I mean, uh, no, I don't. But it's quite, I didn't realise, it was the first lady, Joan Hart, the uh, nurse, she was the first model. She came in and sat with you. Oh, right, yeah. And she um, said, what are you doing? I said, what do you mean, what am I doing? She said, you're putting loads of wax. I said, oh, what? I didn't even realise I was doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was just sort of, and now I know, because everyone who comes and does it comments on it. Yeah. So these just little traits here. You don't realise you've got. Yeah. Because you do get lost in this business. Yeah. Completely absorbed by it. Yeah. Some people worry about losing their hair, don't they? Yeah. It um, never bothered me one iota. Never. They even thought about it. Just a passing thinking about it, but oh, never. I never thought. Oh, it's quite a lot. To shave it all off now. Yeah, no. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's what I do get angry about. Yeah. I get angry about. I mean, I'd love a head of hair. You know, it'd be yeah. nice to have one. Yeah. yeah. But and then you see somebody who chooses to do. Yeah, to shave it all off. Yeah, think, what are you talking? Just swap. Yeah. You must have really thick hair. Black hair. You do. Yeah. Well, well my, and my son's a bald. Well, the eldest one is, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Well, going. Going bald. Well, how old were you when you went bald? What would I be like? Forty mm. ish when I got right bald, didn't I? Oh, yeah, but you started about 23, 24. Just Did it worry you? Just recedes from no. here. No. You, you're just the same, aren't you? That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find it less. I mean, I don't shave because I can't be bothered. Yeah. They never want to cut my hair. No. So, really, I'm a low maintenance guy. Yeah, that's me, yeah. yeah. I don't really need to yeah. have time to worry yeah. about it. Yeah, all your sides went bald, didn't they? But brothers on my side have all got hair. You can't. I think it's a miracle people can keep it. How the hell do you keep your hair? Mm. My youngest son's got really grey hair. They keep saying that uh, they can't true. do anything for more than this, but yeah. that footballer, what they call him, Rooney. Wayne Rooney. He's had an hair yeah, transplant, hasn't he? Yeah. But I've never heard of many doing that. Oh, I think it's quite common. I wonder if it works. Elton John. How does he end one? Right, it costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of money. Yeah. 34. Yeah. And you're the toilet brush, isn't it? Make you look like they, they drill it and plug it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah. You look like a toilet brush. Only she'll say sometime his wife, you, hey, your bristles are coming out. <laughs> that brush, you know. Well, one of his cousins wears a wig. Mm. Don't you? No, I couldn't go for a wig. I don't fancy that. Well, then you always think you get worried about being found out. I don't know. If they want to do it, they're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free world, isn't it? Yeah. Long ears. Going right, I've realised your ears are way above your eyes. That's just happened, that. That's just happened, I've just seen that. They're generally online with them, aren't they? I know. Right up there. Oh, yeah. So I feel like one of those pavement artists. And bottom of your ear should be, well, it's mostly it's not, but with your mouth, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Your head's at an angle. 
Have you done it at an angle? Yeah. it will probably be like that. Oh, that's good, though. Go for that. I look like my mother, don't I? I was just going to say really? then, yeah. that's the next thing I was going to say. It looks like your mother. Very from near, side. isn't it? Looks like his mother. From Family side. like that. Yeah. And they just turned it then. I'll buy that bronze off you. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> what did you say? I wanted. You'll buy the bronze. If it's ever comes available. Yeah. I'd love to. Did you see the bronzes in the exhibition? No, not bronzes, no. In the shop, there was a lot of bronzes there. In the we shop? Were, when we did the shop show in the French Gate. Did you see the French Gate? Oh, yeah, we did see some. Oh. No, we did see some bronzes, yeah. They're, They're on the plints. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. all the plints all the way around, yeah. weren't they? That's right. Yeah, we did see them. They come to life in the bronze, it's lovely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We saw them, the other ones as well. Why, why, why is that then? Why are... It's just, I mean, it's just a lovely metal that just finds detail beautifully. I mean, oh, bronze is, is not bronze, just because it's bronze. Bronze finds detail and yeah. takes the light, and it's, just a, and it's a lovely metal to work with the tools. It's soft. Mm -hmm. Everything about it is designed really for think, to be in harmony with. Yeah. You, know, you can pick up fingerprint detail. Oh, it's extraordinary. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fingerprints. So, I mean, so many of my fingerprints in these would be carrying on in there. Right, we saw the mother ones in French Gate as well. The map does in the front. Yeah, yeah. Across some boats and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's some in. Uh, is it Arndale Centre? French Gate. French Gate. You had some there. Yeah. We saw that. Yeah, because somebody said to us, one of them looked like him. Oh, really? Yeah. They kept yeah. saying, it's you. Yeah. And, said, oh, and we went to a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now you're in. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah. So during the strike then in Stainford, um, how long did it go? I mean, how long did the real horribleness, the violent side of it go on? Well, it moved from Stainforth to uh, outlaying districts, you know. Right. Yeah. Forget where well, the, it lasted a the good year. Where it Scargo lasted was in year. that Didn't area. Mm. Yeah. But there were. I don't think it was long in Stainforth. Because there were pickets at top at Pit Lane. They're still importing coal, aren't they? Yeah. And stuff like that. Well, Trump's cheap got, stuff. Trump's got it all going again in America, isn't he? Is what? Trump's getting it all going in, all the coal. Yeah. Yeah. So how, did you... Did you think there was coal f down that field main left from there to East Coast. Really? Did we... Did you yeah. suffer? I mean, did you... When you... I mean, you had five kids then, did you? Yeah. So how did you survive during the strike? I mean, were you... Because we had some we wonderful had ladies in last time who were running... Kitchens, soup, soup kitchens, yeah. incredible. Well, there's well, no we, we well, went I went to those. I, Did you? I was working. Were you? Yeah, I worked uh, at hospital, Doncaster Hospital, and I, I only did twenty hours a week, but we sat, we survived on that money. Really? She was and, also uh, I think the last fortnight you went, didn't you? Yeah. Because somebody at village says to him, "You ought to go and get some food," and they did go. Yeah. But I think I only had two at home then. Right. Others were married and got their own children. And because we had no money for a drink, you know, with the lads, mm. you used to use when you'd come home from Spain or whatever. Get some little bottles. little miniatures. Yes. You set them with them. Oh, they were a little glass. Really? Yeah. yeah you it was awful, bottle. really. Stood with your bag, with your fear food. Very moving. Really? Yeah. You could feel tears welling up in your eyes, yeah. having to beg, you mm. know, for food. You only went a couple of times though, Ray, but it was funny. When he went, he ended up having his photograph taken. Really? 
Oh, I've got that for yeah. you. Yeah, and it's got his bag like that. Holding the carrier bag, ready for it ain't killed. Because we didn't bother, because we were, I were working. I didn't mm. get a lot of money like right, but we managed, didn't we? Good. That's for a year? Yeah, full year. Fascinating face. <laughs> Let's really laugh that fascinating face. Well, it, when we first started, <laughs> is Danny here? You start, I used to say, have they got a good head? He goes, what do you mean, have they got yeah, a good head? Yeah. I said, is it, you know, you know what I mean. It's is full it of brains, what am I doing? Yeah. No, I said, is it, yeah, has it got structure? Have you got some structure in this one? I don't know what you're talking about. He knows now, he knows now. Is the camera still running? Yeah. Is there any chance of a break to go to time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just carry on. We're going to stop for the toilet break. Yeah. Yeah, you get off. You just out the door, down the corridor. Take a. Could you show me where the toilet is? Yeah, I don't know where it is. Oh, I can't show you. Oh.
Okay. Comfortable? Am I comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. Good. You need a little stretch. But uh, I left me with a few problems, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're 85. You've got to have a couple of problems. Yeah. Yeah, you're oh yeah, you gotta you gotta go with some of that. Yeah. But we found time's gone quick. And going quicker? Oh the last twenty years. Yeah, yeah, going quicker. We don't know where it's gone. For some reason I don't know. Time itself is a funny thing, isn't it? I think it's relative. I think the older you get, the more you've been on the planet, the less Time gets so yeah. like if you lived yeah. 80 years, a year is yeah. 80th yeah. of your yeah. previous existence. Yeah. Whereas when you're five, yeah. a fifth of your life goes by. Yeah. Whereas an 80th of your life goes by. So it's all yeah. relative, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Everything is in it. Yeah. Yeah. When you start looking back, it doesn't seem long, but then when you think about when what you've done, because we've done a lot, haven't we? People used to say to us, "You've had a full life." Well, what we could have thought. Yeah. We've done a lot more than a lot of people we know, haven't we? Awful teeth, but at least they're my own. Yeah. So, did you like your snap times and stuff downstairs underneath the ground? Was that the best oh, bit? Oh, funny that. Did you play the mice sometimes? You know, they the get mice. into you, yeah, they'll get into your snap. And they bore it all straight through the middle. They wouldn't, what, you in wouldn't, the middle of an off? Yeah. Yeah. Sandwich, sandwich, straight through. Really? <laughs> like a tunnel. They didn't bother looking, you know, nibbling the edge. Yeah. It was like a machine just pouring straight <laughs> through. <laughs> like a miner. Talk yeah. a bit louder. Yeah. I can see you've got those stretch marks. What do you call that? Uh, they, I, in the foundry the other day, I had know. a beautiful um, French horn player came. Beautiful. He, he was a very oh, embouchure. Um, yeah, is that what it's called? Embouchure is, you know, it's your muscles. French word. Yeah, your embouchure. muscles in your face. Yeah, for the rounding mouth. Us, if you don't, if I don't play for quite a while, it, they ache like hell. Really? Until you've got your embouchure muscles working again. Really? Yeah, you could. If you leave it too long, oh well, yeah, you've got to keep uh, practicing. Practicing scales, you know. Yeah, so he was a guy that said, you know, and it's a bit like, you know, being a muscly guy or not a muscly guy. If you've got a good embouchure, it's kind of genetic. Is that the word embouchure? Uh, yeah. The uh, French word for the muscles around your mouth. Mm. I don't know whether it's genetic or not. Well, Ollie, exactly. what is genetic? In yeah, yeah, it is. You're right. Yeah. I can see you've got these wonderful. Yeah. You're not a smoker. I used to be. Yeah. I've lived hard, played hard, and yeah. loved hard. Yeah. And I like people. You like people? They all, they all, yeah, they all, they all want a fair deal in life. Yeah. They don't ask a lot. But the workers, they're just left enough, if they want to, put a little bit in bank to save for a rainy day and kids. Mm. But nothing else. Just give me enough to live on. Mm. Yeah. And sometimes now it's not enough. No. I don't know how they can treat people like that. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, the government's saying how we're all well off and... Yeah. Ooh, everyone's in work. And austerity's over. Yeah. We're all in it together. Yeah. That's a good one. We're all in it together. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder the thing they're kidding. There must be brain. There's missing a brain or two, aren't there? Do you go to London much? No. Do you want to see the powers of Parliament? We've seen, seen there. No, no. Watch government at work. I wouldn't. I have no interest in what. I couldn't stand that. Because half the time they're missing. That they're, they're out on town. Yeah. Don't show you what you want to see. Yeah. What you don't want to see, I should say. What they want you to see. They're off to the gentlemen's clubs and all that. <laughs> You're all right. You're a Stainforth club. Yeah, that's better. Your wife knows where you are, their wives don't know where they are. Do you socialise together? Are you always out together? Margaret doesn't drink, she's not interested in going out. Really? Well, I say I like picking old things up, you know. So, yeah, uh, did you do museums? Pardon? Yeah. Museums? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have to go to Donny. I keep popping in there. Yeah. It's good, actually. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm also trying to have a bat for all my disease. Do you? Good luck. Not now. Not until now. Oh wow! Whose wedding was that? My grandson. Good God! They were a nice setting. They were lovely. Beautiful. Right up on the mountain. Really? Little church, it was gorgeous, wasn't it? But red hot. And then we went down. We were near the sun. Down the mountain. <laughs> and they had the reception on the sea front. Oh, near Sea Front, I could see Beach. Gorgeous. Lovely restaurant, weren't mm. it? That were in Rhodes. Wow, I've never been there. It's always nice in Rhodes. Nice Rhodes. Yeah, some interesting shops and stuff. Mm. Lovely waterfront. Big it, it's the biggest wall city in Europe, that. Really? Yeah. It's Rhodes. an island, isn't it, Rhodes? Yeah. Yeah. Where nice Templar was settled there oh, really? in this big castle thing, yeah. All big walls. It's lovely. I've been to Venice. Lovely somewhere. city. Venice. Nice opportunities. I've got most of the stuff in place. I can just get it all right now. Usually I'm just desperate to get a woman position and then it ends. Mm. I can tinker. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the next level and you're starting to get it. Yeah. Really right. Yeah. It's coming together. Yeah. When I'm painting, I put a spot of red on a painting. It seems to bring it together. Yeah, really? It, it, uh, yeah, it makes a big difference. You put your thumb over that red and hide it. It's yeah. different again. Really? And this is in your kind of abstract work? No, not really. Uh, but uh, I'm loose. It's my own style. Really? Yeah, I kind like of imagination? It. I like it. Myself, I'm happy with it. Yeah. If I'm not, I just rip it up. I can't be bothered. Does he, do you like his paintings? Mm. Yeah. Or do you have them up in the house? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Every time I go out, I come back and there's a different painting. <laughs> She's a, it's going like an art gallery, <laughs> you know. I come back and have a My one, we've got, I've got many of my sculptures. Up. Well, they're very decorative. 
Because they're, they're all white up, frames. He might put mm. one up that I really like, and that's that. And I've not gone to any expense. I go around second hand shops, pick a good frame, yeah. and paint it myself. <laughs> oh, but I bought one in Sheffield. Uh, a few weeks ago, wasn't it? A few weeks ago, it's lovely. It's, it's, uh, I paid £40 for it. Right. And it's lovely. Right, soft. It's wet and wet. Yeah. Right. Well, that's it. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. 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 Wow. But you've just got to keep it in check with your brush. Yeah. No, I'm not the right articulate one. Margaret's the articulate one than me. You're doing all right. Well, you speak for your music. Yeah, that's right, yeah. That's what I like doing most of all, of anything. Seems like you've always had it. I like to sing an all a bit. Do what? I like to sing. Do you? A bit. Do you sing on the stage? Uh, I, get, I do get up, don't I, Margaret? Without any instruments? Yeah, I, I do a bit of Sinatra. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah. I took a trip on a train and I thought about you. <laughs> I passed that shadowy lane. Oh, yes, you're a crew And I thought about you. There were two or three cars parked under the stars. And a winding stream, moon shining down on some little town, with each beam, same old dream. At every stop that we made, oh, I thought about you. And then when I pulled down the shade, I really felt blue. And then I peeped through the crack and looked at that track. The one going back to you, and what did I do? I thought about you. Fantastic. And that's jazz. Yeah. Fantastic. He does my way like Does he? Yeah, and I prefer the more obscure. That's lovely. Yeah. I don't do my way, Mark. That's one I don't do. <laughs> Which is the one you do? Oh, King of the Hell. Pardon? Can you get the... No. What's that one? You don't? You make me feel so young. That one? Oh, I like that, yeah. Do you sing to Margaret then? I sing in house, yeah. I do, don't I? When I've yeah. had a drink. Yeah. <laughs> You've had a drink? Yeah. yeah. I do. Do you sing it on the way home from the pub? <laughs> That's probably why the police wanted to find you. I sing in bed. <laughs> you don't go, you don't you go sing in bed. Yes. <clears throat> you open up when you've been here quite a while, don't you? What, here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you do. I find you do. I get more relaxed. When the sculpture's going a bit better, you think actually we can relax a bit now. Yeah. We'll sing a song. <laughs> why not? <laughs> yeah, we'll have a duel. Yeah, we've got another one. <laughs> what else have we got? You make me feel so young. You make me feel those spring has sprung And every time I see you grin I'm such a happy individual Well, it's a funny key, that, when you're at home in your mouth. Yeah. 
No, it's great having music in your life. I think you, I've, we've noticed that you know, people here, actually, the old people, actually, somebody had a 90-year-old yesterday. Yeah. They just laugh. What they find is they, they're very humorous. Yeah. They have a, a wife, usually, that's really on the ball. Yeah. And uh, they just laugh and laugh <laughs> and smile. Yeah. The problem is it's very difficult to get smiling faces without looking like gargoyles. Yeah. Yeah. So... It's the problem with static images. I like the way you've done them frown lines. Yeah, just sketch them in. I'd rather... What I don't... Wow, look at that, it's marvellous. What you try not to do is to draw... You, you, yeah. Like, they, they, you don't want to draw... You don't want to no. draw a face. You've it's... You've got to think about form. It's like flesh. Yeah, yeah. Isn't so, it? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't want to start drawing lines everywhere. No, because no. Because it ends up in a drawing. And that's a yeah. different language, but... Yeah. And this is about form. Yeah. And that's the important thing. Mm. Time, we're all right. I feel quite comfortable. this done from 25 minutes in. That's what he told me. He told me that. I said, man, I told you, I was like, he's got this done already. We could have stopped then. Yeah. Then we might get it even better. <laughs> Look at when that. You, when, you, uh, really when you left, I put it on the chair next to you. <laughs> you felt like you were there. <laughs> like a little puppet version. Put my arm on my back and you were starting to sing Frank Sinatra songs. <laughs> I did it my way. <laughs> I don't sing that though. <laughs> it does. He just doesn't. He's too drunk when he does my way. I'm getting cramped. Yeah, you're too drunk, that's his problem. <laughs> probably that I should respect, that's probably you start not to respect the sculpture. Uh -huh. You've got to respect it. Retaining your head, isn't it, when you're doing that? Yeah. Well, the thing about it is, it may look easy, but what you worry about, for example, what is this hand doing when you're pressing on there? Yeah, what yeah. are you destroying on the other you're, side? Yeah, yeah. I can soft. imagine that happening. Yeah, that's always a worry. Yeah. You've got to try and hold it softly. Yeah. yeah. And you forget, don't you? Yeah. And you keep pressing with it. You go on the other side, you get just four hand yeah. prints. Yeah. And you've lost the whole damn yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you do edit all this film then. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. of yeah, but you can, yeah. Yeah. Take out all the bits. Then yeah. The boy. Yeah, yeah. The songs will stay in. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I'd never sang that. No, I think you we want another one. <laughs> Have you got any um, folk song? You're not a folk song man, are you? You're Americana. Yeah, American. You're American yeah. songbook. Yeah. Uh, Lambert Hendricks and Ross scat singing. I like oh, scatting. Wow. Really. Know. Lambert who? Hendricks and Ross. Really? And Annie Ross was English. Really? Yeah. So that's all the that. yeah. 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 Scat. Go and do a bit of scat. I remember, I remember Bebop coming out. Yeah. Uh, wow, that was an exciting time. All musicians, you know, in London, they, they used to go on liners. Any kind of way to get to America, to 52nd Street, to hear, really? this, to hear this bebop. Wow. Ronnie Scott and them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we, went, we went to Ronnie Scott's, didn't we, Margaret? Yeah. We didn't get in. Oh, no. Because the price is the same as you say in London, we couldn't afford it. Really? That's sad. Yeah. And I got right at door. Really? You went to... Um Oh, I've been, nice, oh, I've been to Nice, just for a lot of blue trains. On blue train? Yeah, it yeah. still runs from Doncaster. The blue train? What yeah. that, what's that then? Well, it, it uh, runs, you get right to Nice. Really? Change over on channel, when you bother channel, hmm. and run that right down to Nice. And further south, it's getting warmer. The couch gets to sleep on. 
yeah. the back carriage, there was a wooden, wooden Indian stood in it, at the bar, and that's the train we were drinking all the way. The corridor train and all, Good so you could walk up and down the train. Mm. It was a great time. And all the top jazz men. Did you go? No. no. Well, with, we, with, with jazz friends of mine, because we used to go to jazz clubs. And, uh, yeah, it was jazzing yeah, right. all the way and kids. drinking, you know. And all top stars, American stars, all were there. Really? I've, seen, I've seen Buddy Rich a couple of times. Really? Finest drummer in the world. It's yeah. for July, isn't it? <coughs> in July, yeah. They were fantastic already, that. Oh, I imagine. How long did the They were even on the train, call girls playing the way. What? what? Call, girl? call girls playing the way. Playing the way? Playing, playing the way. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't know what that, do you? I do, well, I'm you know, reading between your lines. Yeah. <laughs> she does, she knows that. Yeah. But uh, I'm married. Look forward. It didn't have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> not for them, not for them. <laughs> couldn't get anyone in Scots, I definitely couldn't go there. <laughs> um. No, it went children were small. Yeah. Nice jazz. So was cool. Would you like to have gone? Is jazz your thing? I like it, yeah. Hmm? Oh, I've been, I've had it shoved down the throat oh, since no. I was 15. <laughs> yeah, but it's... Uh, no, I don't like it. It's uh, there's a lot of things. You've either got it or you ain't. Joe yeah, Kelly said that, not yeah. just me. I love Sarah Vaughan. Oh. Uh, and I love this channel. Yeah. Well, also, I think when you've got someone like that was Ray's enthusiasm. Mac the Knife? No. She sings that one every time you say goodbye. She yeah. sings like a nightingale. Not can you do that? that? Can you do now. that now? No. Go on. No. Go on. <clears throat> Go on. Okay. After three, eh? Go on. Uh, don't One, do that. Two, that two three. Every time we say goodbye. Every time we say goodbye, I wonder why, why the birds above me, they must do as oh, I've got words. Yes, they know. Thinks so little of me. My voice has gone now. Oh, it's they lovely. allow you to go, to go. When, when you're near there's such an air of spring about it I, I can hear a lark somewhere begin to sing about it no From major to minor, every time we say goodbye. Yay! Cool. Cool. Printed. How did that work? Um, <laughs> my voice has gone now, though. I have got the breath. I love that song. Yeah, yeah I do. Love that song. <laughs> I didn't expect to be singing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and spitting no. them. Sorry. <laughs> and spitting them out. Yeah. Well, it's a laugh, isn't it? It's a good sign oh. that I'm quite relaxed with the sculpture. Yeah. It's a I get cramped when I'm The old. singing man. <laughs> singing man. It must put years on, mustn't it? it must, in the sense of extend a life. Yeah. We've always had music in the family, haven't we? We even bump out and out, you know, so I'll get guitars out, sit around playing. Yeah. <laughs> All crackers going. Are you alright, Ray? Yeah, just a bit stand of camp. Up? Bit of stand camp. Up? Yeah. No, I'm okay. <clears throat> and then when lads were teenagers, all the mates used to come round. And they used to sit on the floor, didn't they? In the kitchen, we had a massive kitchen. All with guitars and singing and really? playing. Yeah. God, good job we had good neighbours. Yeah. That's lovely.
they were good times when our kids were teenagers. The daughter used to have about half a dozen mates. They all come round to get ready when they were going to youth club. Right. <laughs> Wonderful. See them all go out. I can remember when uh, the <coughs> frozen food shop kept, first came to town, Doncaster. Frozen food shop? They frozen food shop and they used to do all these steaks in boxes. And I used to go and buy all these steaks. And on a Friday night when all the lads come, with my sons, they all used to be playing guitars. They used to, next morning when I got up there were no steaks there. <laughs> You sit down all around and cook them. <laughs> we'll sit down in bed, we can smell them. The smell them cooking up? Yeah. Yeah, but they were good times. You right? you want to stand up? I just got to stretch. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to come. Probably sit in the same position. Yeah. Oh, maybe holding myself tense, I don't know. Laughing, that's what you're doing. <laughs> it's difficult when you're under the spotlight. I'm under pressure, mate. Yeah. But you hear some stories, don't you? Yeah, oh god, yeah, it's brilliant. Man, it's you could interesting, write a book. isn't it? Yeah. It's fascinating. The people just walk in the door. You know, it's just they just open up their lives, tell you their life stories. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's tragic. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you can't believe what people have been through. Yeah. Yeah. We had a guy here yesterday morning who um he just casually said he was, he, he was blown up underground. So he was, his spleen was destroyed, everything, oh. carried out. And then um, his wife left him with four kids. He couldn't work. Four kids. Mm. It's just... Terrible. And then, you know, it was all that benefit crap. All the yeah. money not coming through, people yeah. not paying him. Yeah. He had... There was another one, his father had a hundred... You know, the, um, Silicosis, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. And because he'd had another disease, uh, tuberculosis. They wouldn't pay him. They wouldn't pay him. Pay him yeah, because it wasn't all pure disease. Yeah, yeah. the right type. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stinks, doesn't it? God. In the so struggles. Yeah, there is. Real struggles. Yeah. And he was a cheerful, he was the first, he was the yeah. cheerfulest man. Yeah. yeah. He, he said, you know, I've had a good life, it's been great, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. That's what you get with these people, especially around here, you get that incredible resolve, incredible, yeah. you know, yeah. ability to enjoy the themselves. Resolve, yeah. That's what I'm learning as I do this. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you certainly get inside people doing that. Yeah. What's that muscle called again? Embalsia. Embalsia. I'm trying to remember it. It's a good word. Embalsia. 
you know, you've got to strengthen them. Yeah. I'm trying to remember it. Embellish, 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 embellish. It sounds to me French. Yeah, it is French, yeah. 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 There's a lot of musical terminology French. Uh, Italian, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Arpeggios, adagios. Do you read music? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I learnt myself. Did you? Yeah. Right from scratch. Really? Do you use it for your drumming or your...? No, saxophone. How long have you been playing a the saxophone then? Oh, uh, how long have you had it? Philip bought me. No, I bought your first one when you, after you'd had cancer. For um, uh, ten years? More. No. No, it's a lot more. I bought it when you had cancer. I saved all your money I've on all your... First I've told okay. you, I've got older than I'm telling No. Just in oh, you had, had a flute. You had a flute. Got climate as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I would say 20, 20 yeah. years, easy. He's been playing clarinet. Uh, and I've always been drawing since I was little. Long, 10 years. My brother, he used to, when I was only that, and he used to be drawing stagecoaches and horses. Oh, really? Right, good job, you know. But how I started, the evening paper, it, it used to be called Evening News, and it was Romanist, Romanistic. Right, figures, writing. Right. You know, the, and uh, kind of gothic. I used to copy that. Sat at the table copying that. I always liked it. I've always liked copy white penciling and drawing. Helped you a bit with, with your music, didn't he? You were yeah. asking if you weren't sure. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. But I've always had a feel for a swing. Oh, yeah. I don't know how they played. You ain't got to be stiff. Right, be relaxed. Yeah. All the time is good, isn't it? Yeah. You're always learning, aren't you? Yeah. The tutor I got, I bought it from a second hand shop in Doncaster, and it was an Australian thing, playing the saxophone in ten lessons. Well, I've, I've gone through all that, it's a right good tutor. And yeah. it had CD involved, you could play with the rhythm section. It's, wow. It's great. Do you play keyboards? No. My nephew does. He plays a lot in Manchester in the gigs. The biggest gig I played were uh, oh, Bradford Alhambra. Bradford Al Alhambra. All right. Alhambra. Bradford, Alhambra, yeah. In Bradford. Bradford, yeah. The Alhambra and Bradford are not two words I've put together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How big was that? Oh, a couple of thousand people. Really? Yeah. yeah. Who were you playing with? With, with our band, with my brother. What was your band called? John Cordell. John Cordell? Cordell, you start to blow. Oh, it's an no, imaginary name? Oh, no, you imagine the name, yeah. John Cordell. For tax purposes. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. So John Cordell played the Bradford alum alumni. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, that's great, that. Feels quite good. It is good, that. 
Can you feel it? Can you feel the goodness? Like, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know when it's worked. Can you imagine that, yeah. The only thing I would like to have done, if I, I would make the nose a bit bigger, the nose is a bit small. Ah. But the shape's all good. Yeah, well, as long as it's in, in conjunction with rest. Yeah. Yeah, it does, yeah. It works all right. But I just wanted to raise the bridge slightly just to get it. There's a few tricks you can do. Yeah, that'll pull it up, won't it? You've never been looked at so closely in real life, have you? Since the no, doctors. No, since he had a lot here. Now you've created that, I think it's marvellous. I do, I think it's wonderful the way you do it. I know it's not easy. No. <laughs> <coughs> that, oh, no. It's not easy, you know. What's that. the time? It's Fantastic. Five, two. Five, two. Five, two. Five minutes, right. Generation game, finishing touches, what are we going to do? A bit of wide spirit, I think. That last hour went quick. Mm -hmm. yeah, that last hour was, went quick. Yeah, He's singing for most of it.
They train to be photographers and filmmakers, these. Yeah, are photographers. <laughs> are you? Yeah. Oh, I wish you luck. I feel it's night time out there, don't you? I've got no idea what's going on outside. It was no, raining no. when we came. Was it? Yeah, it's like being in a submarine, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> Lost in another world. Yeah. That fan, this air conditioning. Yeah, can you see Sometimes that? it all just... I always find it's quite peaceful. Everyone just calms down. No one does any talking. And you just hear the fan. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I doubt the um, cameras picked that up. They're all experiences, aren't they? Yeah. I like to be quiet. Do you have a shed you go into? Pardon? Do you have a shed you go Yeah, bottom of garden. Yeah. Are you in there a lot? Pardon? Are you in there a lot? Uh, a lot of time in there. Quite a bit. Is yeah. that where you paint? Yeah, but, but I, I can paint anyway. Uh, I think yeah, you can do a lot of things anyway, can't yeah. you? If you want to do it. It's got a studio, haven't you? Yeah. It's, it's not a shed, it's... Sometimes it's just part it's joined onto the garage. Yeah, OK. We inherited it, like. It's been good talking to you. It's been lovely. Shiny head. Mm. Well, let's stop like that. Mm? You're carrying your left. I think we're done. Yeah. What an early finish. Why not? Why not? Let's have a first. Two hours, oh, that's brilliant. Isn't it good? Can um, I hold it? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Oh, isn't that nice? It's beautiful, that. I think it's a good one. Yeah. We've had a few. Brilliant. And get you some wax. How much would you need? Uh, I, I don't know. Just a little bit. Make something about that big. Yeah, that's it. Cheers. Near the boiler. Yeah. Under your armpit. You yeah. sit on it. Yeah, I keep it warm. Yeah. But if you want a radiator, don't let it dribble down the side. Yeah, right, yeah. Just put some. Yeah. And shine, you abuse water. That's white spirit. Right. Oh, white spirit. Oh, water, water won't work. Yeah. Oh, you've got your hands in white spirit all the time. Yeah, I've got white in my mouth, white spirit in my mouth, everything. Yeah. Oh. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> when you keep it in there, do you? That's water there to keep it stored. All oh, right. Well, should we get close up into this camera? Brilliant, that. Okay, if we all look into this camera. Yeah. Oh. Brilliant, and 
Did you see, did you hear the, the, the duet? The duet. Did you hear us? I song? heard all three of you singing. <laughs> Have you broke at all already? Yes, yeah, they're very good though. They've really helped. I want to rewind the clock now. Don't mean a thing if you ain't got that sweet baby. She's a button boots and a Yeah, good stuff. That's lovely. Does it feel like that? Not going there now, will it? Stalling there, so that.